number 10 just number 10 is more like um logical if i have log baby of m equal log baby of n then m equal n of course m n cannot be zero um so for example if i have so for example if i have log baby three of of, of 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 x equal log baby three of y then i can assume what this imply x equal y right that's all it is that's all it is um okay so we're going to use these properties to solve some equation all right number one is log base 4 of 24 equal 2 times log base 4 of x now do you guys remember the last rule what is the what is the coefficient of log here on both sides it's be one right it has to be one in order to do so if it's not one make it one well, this one is not one, right? This one is one, but this one is not. This one is not, it's two. So how, how do I make it one? How do I make the two go away? Not go away per se, but you know, move somewhere else. What rule do I use? Yeah, the parachute one, right? Uh, power, so you're gonna move the two back to the power. So right there. So I'm going to rewrite it at log base 4 of 24 equal log base 4 of x squared. And now, because of the rule number 10, I can cancel the log both sides like that. So now 24 equal x squared. Can you solve that? Plus and minus, right? So x equal uh, plus and minus 24 divided, so uh, two root six, right? Two root six. I hope by now you guys are good with simplifying radical. Now I'm gonna check my answer. Remember log, log, log only take what? Positive input, input, right? Uh, sometimes it can take positive value. I'm saying input. Right. So I gotta check. I gotta check my answer. So check. Must check your answer. Um, if x equal positive two root six is okay. This one okay. But if if I have x equal negative two root six, if you plug in the calculator, what happened? Actually, you know what? Um, you got lucky because it look you lucky because because the x being square. This right here. So whatever number you put, you put the x squared on the positive. So you're lucky this time. Um, it's also work. Let me put a little note here. Sometimes you don't have that, that the protective layer, the square thing you need to check. So let me box my answer. On the exam, you are required to check your work in order to receive full credit. You don't have to show me your step, but just if you put a little double check mark or just check mark, I know that you check your work. Okay. Um, all right. Now, number two, you got, why don't you guys try that? Um, I'll give you a few minutes to try that. If you have the answer, you can put it in the chat. Okay. 
Show you how to check. Thank you, Josh. To check with a calculator too. But the integer you can do it on your head, but with irrational, it's uh, just nicer to, to have calculator do it for you. So uh, rule number ten, right? I can cancel the log because they have the same base. So I have four x minus two equal ten. Four x equal twelve. X equal three. And if you check, you plug in three for x. 4 times 3, right here, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 minus 2 is 10. So yes, we check. This one right here, a little bit, just slightly more complicated. Um, again, uh, we don't have the thing that, please do not cancel. <laughs> I know it's tempted, but please don't cancel. I need me. It's the same base I can cancel, but, but only if what? Only if you have one log on the left, one log on the right, you can cancel, right? But here, they not like that. Um, they have a one in between. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the product rule first. Remember, they have the same base. I'm allowed to collapse them back, right? So I'm, I'm going to change the two into a single log. Um, it's going to be logs base 10 of x times x plus 3. Product rule, right? Equal 1. And again, this is base 10. What do you think I'm going to use to solve this? We don't know how to solve a log, but we know how to solve for exponential. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do that little arrow thing. 10 to the power of 1 equal the input, right? So x times x plus 3 equal 10 to the first. Distribute that x squared plus 3x equal 10. Move 10 to the left, x squared plus 3x minus 10 equal 0. It should be factorable. If not, you can use quadratic equal, uh, formula. Uh, five and two, all right, minus plus. So this means x equal two or x equal negative five. All right, I don't know about the two, but I know that I'm gonna get rid of negative five because why? Yeah, you're gonna have a log negative five, right? A log negative two, I'm, it won't take that. Um, is log base two? Is log two? What about log two? I'm sorry, x two, x equal two. Is it check? Let, let's check with calculator. If, if I plug in two for x, is it going to equal to one? Uh, Kobe, yes. Go ahead. I have a question about previous problem. Go ahead, um, Kobe. Okay. So uh, I was just confused. So if um, if we cancel, I guess for this one, if we cancel log five on both sides, wouldn't that mm -hmm. be a uh, 4x oh oh you know what i see what it is now i thought that oh, was okay. a multiplication and it was a minus sign okay my bad okay no no problem if you help you speak out loud um all right i'm gonna show you how to check the calculator okay because if even if you plug it in if even you plug it in if say let's check log two plus log what five how do you know it equal to one, right? Not by just eyeballing it. So I'm gonna use calculator here. Um, so log, log two, go out of parentheses plus log five. Yeah, so check, Not equal one. Check. I'm gonna box my answer. So far, so good. You good? Right, we good. Um, do you guys want to try? No, I'll, I'll. You know what? I'll. I'll try the first step, and then you guys uh, finish the rest. Again, do not cancel. I know it's tempted, 
it's like Mimi, they got all lock day 10. I can cancel. But all, you only cancel if you have one single lock on the left and one single lock on the right. If not if they connect together like this. So the first thing I have to combine the left hand side first, right? If subtraction, so it's gonna be what? The quotient rule, right? So it's gonna be log. Which one on the top? Oh, the one the one that's the have not negative going on the top right so it'll be log of x plus four divided by five x plus twelve equal now on the right hand side I have that negative one in front negative log same thing as negative one times log what can I do what can I do with that negative one just like before Can I move it using power rule? Yes, right, I can move it. So it's gonna be log, oops, I wanna keep it red, log base tens of x to the negative one. Are they the same base now? Yes, can I cancel? I can cancel that, I can cancel it. Right. So now I have x plus four over five x plus 12 equal, um, Instead of x, the negative one, can I write it as one over x? Is that okay? What is the LCD here? Why don't you guys do it? Because this is old stuff. Uh, I'll let you do it. Why don't you do it? Try it, try it with me. Is that what you do? Okay, so if I distribute to the left, five X plus 12 cancel. So it's just X times X plus four here. Equal, uh, on the right hand side, the X cancel. So just one times five X plus 12. Distribute the left hand side, I have x squared plus 4x equal 5x plus 12. Move everything to the left. So I have x squared minus x minus 12 equals 0. I'm kind of fast for these kind of steps because it's old stuff. Can someone factor that for me? See how important factory I know that you get bored of me saying this, but just just it's always creep up on you, right? Everywhere. Um, can someone factor that for me? Negative four and positive three. Thank you, Devin. Um, so that means x equal negative three or x equal positive four. With the first one you're gonna cancel, which is which one? Or oh, you're gonna get rid of this? Yeah, negative three. It, 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 it's because of the right hand side, right? If you have log negative three, it's not good. So even without even checking, I know that I'm gonna get rid of that one. Uh, what about x equal four? Let's see. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I'll show you how to do this. Um. X equal four. Okay, I'll show you how to do this. Just in case we have a complicated solution. I'm gonna show you how to store information. So I wanna store the four as X. So, so first press four and you can see the STO. I think I show you this, right? Yeah. STO and then X right there, X right below mode, X press enter. So now the calculator remember X as four. And then you plug in your, um, equation, um, your left-hand side or the equation. So 
left left hand side first. So log of x plus four. Go out to the parentheses minus log of five x plus twelve. And I want to know what is it equal to. Um, some number. I don't. I don't really care. I'm going to write. I'm going to check the right hand side. Um, minus. Make sure you the opposite key. Minus log, oops, minus log of x. They're the same, right? So the left hand side equals to the right hand side. If you have a question, please ask now. It's helpful for, for your exam. You need to check like this on your exam. Um, have I shown you how to do a base that different than 10? I want to show you again. You go to math, and then um, I'm gonna press. Yeah, I'm gonna press the. Um, I'm, gonna press this. I'm gonna press the upper arrow. Just, you can press the down arrow, but it just go too far because if you press that, it go to log base right away. There you go. Now you do log whatever base you desire. Mm -hmm. All right, so x equal four is all answer, box it. Um, do you have any questions before I move on to the next section? My Zoomer, you guys okay? Yeah. All right, thank you, Kobe. Very good. Um, the next exam, I want you to ace the same thing as this exam, okay? Uh, I don't want you to get you know too confident. <laughs> Let down your guard. So just keep it up, keep it up. We're almost done. All right, now we're solving um, exponential using logarithm. Let, let me give you an example. We did this before. If I have two to the X equal four, do you guys remember how to solve for this? Just my logic was X equal. Two to the what power equal four. Two, right? So it's easy. Um, so just, so if you, what you can do is you can change the right hand side to the same base and then you drop the base. So this is x equal to. Now, the reason we drop the base, I never explained to you why. Uh, because what, what we can do is we can do this. The, the reason behind it is because of this. I can't seem to write the equal side. I can, you know how you square both sides? I can add log bay two both sides. And log bay two, log bay two, they, the two, they cancel, right? So x equal two. So that's the behind the scene. I don't need you to write that for me. As soon as you see the same base, you can automatically drop. Um, however, it's not always the case. What if you cannot change? What if, for, for example, this one right here, I have three to the x on the left, but there's no bay three that I can raise to the power that give me 89, right? It was 81, it was perfect, but it's 89. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use log. I need to bring the x down. I cannot solve it if it's on the power. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add log base three both sides. Uh, no, 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 I, I wanna use, So log base three of three to the x equal log base three of 89. So basically I add log base three both sides. Just how do you square both sides, you cube both sides, kind of like that. Um, on the left-hand side, can I cancel that? So now x equal log base three of 89. What is log base three of 89? It's just some number. If you plug in your calculator, um, if I ask you to route it into say three decimal places, four decimal places, um, you say log, go to a map, go down log base. Oh, I hit that before. Map, log base, um, three, and then 89, 
uh, I'm going to round to four decimal places. Okay, so 4.0857. I'll tell you, specify you how many decimal places you write on the exam. Uh, I want you to try number two on your own. Notice that I don't check my answer if I'm solving an exponential. You're welcome to check, but it's not required. Okay, now I'm not done with number one yet. Uh, I just remember I, 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 one more method I need to show you. Um, for me, my favorite is the first one that I show you, but in case people don't have log base three on your calculator, you still can do this. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add log base 10 both sides. Lock bay tens always work. Um, uh, what I can do next is I can bring the X to the front power rule, right? So it's gonna be X times log bay tens of three equal log bay tens of 89. I wanna solve for X, so what can I do? Divide both side by Logs base 10 of 3, right? That cancel. So on the right hand side is x equal that, that thing, logs base 10 of 89 over logs base 10 of 3, which I'm not going to write the base. If you plug in your calculator, this is change of base here, right? This is log B10 here, logs 89 divided by logs three. It gave you the same answer. In case people don't have different base in your calculator, you can use that method. And again, logs B10 always work for any base at all, but you have to do a little extra step, which is the power rule. We're almost done. Uh, maybe number two and then we're, we're done. Uh, I'm gonna use the first method, okay? Just because, so what do you add to both sides? Get a lost day five, thank you. So five x 110 and then we cancel. So now x, x equal log day five of 110. What do you have? Um, did you plug in your calculator? And what after six? Almost two point nine. Oh, okay. So, so four decimal places. Oops, I'm gonna on the exam. Give me both answer, okay? Well, I mean, the exact answer will be prefer. Always have the exact answer. But if I also ask you to approximate, then four decimal places. All right. Um, we'll stop right here.